Hi again. So this is the Heroes of Carthage uh, construction project. Figures one to three. I've put little bags together with some components that I'm going to use to make these guys. So uh, that body is from the Gangs of Rome uh, by War Games Atlantic. Some arms from that and that head is a Victrix um, Iberian head. So he looks like he'll go reasonably well for number one and I'll just have to do the green stuff for his zebra skin so that should be pretty straightforward it's quite nice how they sort of gradually increase in complexity that'll get me getting into the project um, and slowly hopefully getting the skills to make them half decent now this is the second one of the body of a, a Victrix Numidian there the second arm is from the War game, Warlord Games, no, War Games Factory Greeks. And then I've got a couple of head options. This one, neither of them are perfect. That's a Numidian, a little bit more pointy than this helmet. And then this one is from Ajima, um, Carthaginians. That might be slightly better head. I'll just have to trim the neck down him to fit and then again he just gets a zebra um, kind of belt or sash underneath his belt um, so he's not overly complex and then let's have a look at number three so he's got um, a body from the Victrix Iberians which is the obvious choice for him and then I've got a Victrix Celtic head although it's got a big moustache I notice now hmm I have to think about that I might be able to just sort of scrape that off because I want him to look as much like this dude as possible anyway he's an option of doesn't have greaves either mm, oh there we go yes I thought of that I've got some greaves uh, again from that war games Atlantic gangs of Rome set I'll need a is it one or two? Oh, just one yeah so I had thought of that okay good <laughs> uh, he's got the dagger there the Iberian style dagger and a couple of arms again from the Greek uh, set from War Games Factory. So I'm going to put them together and then I'll give you a look at them. And then um, we will get to work painting them. And I'm not quite sure whether I just show you still photos or take you through the painting process. I'll think about that. Mm, right. See you soon. All right. I've done a little bit of construction work here. So uh, figure number one. Um, Correlating with this guy, uh, obviously the arm positions are not going to be exact, but um, so far reasonably good progress, I reckon. I'm going to uh, obviously get to work with some green stuff to do the zebra skin next, and same with this guy, number two. He's going to need that around uh, and underneath his belt there. And then number three, a first somewhat more ornate one. Um, I've removed his big uh, moustache, gave him a bit of a shave with a hobby knife, uh, got his greave on and um, removed the feathers off the top of that Celtic uh, helmet. So I've just got to do the, um, the sort of uh, horse hair flowing down, which will be fairly easy with some green stuff. So I'll get to work with that and then I will uh, give you a look at them before I prime them and start painting. Okay, next stage, done the green stuff. So we've got the uh, zebra skin around, sort of sash around there. This guy also had a bit of the zebra skin uh, kind of underneath his belt, just draping down. And then the third one with the extension to the helmet with the horsehair plumes. Um, I'm contemplating whether to give them weapons and maybe even shields. They just look for heroes a little bit sort of plain as they are, even though they're trying to follow the, uh, the pictures accurately. I'll contemplate that. Anyway, next step, I will um, prime them and uh, give you a look at that. Starting to take shape now. I've uh, based them, base coated them, a bit of zenith or white on number one. He's looking... A bit similar to him, different pose. This guy, number two, also looking pretty good. I had a bit of um, land just to show them 
with the black and white but uh, i had a bit of tinny tin from vallejo left over i don't know about you guys but i hate to waste paint so whenever i have a bit left over i tend to slap it on someone <laughs> so these guys were in the way i was just painting a bit of um a trumpet and some tinny tin left over so these dudes got a little bit um i put a red string around that greave to approximate that one as well i'm thinking more and more that i'm going to put some weapons in these guys hands because they kind of look silly charging in with nothing in their hands um all right next step in a minute uh, next stage i've got a bit of paint down now a bit of color so let's have a look at each guy the olivey green one for number one and just painted his zebra skin white so far no, oh no he's number three number two he's got the light blue it's a little bit too light really uh, i have exper experimented with this new method i've read about where you use um acrylic medium mixed 50 50 with army paint a strong tone and then just slap it over the entire model and i quite like it for the skin and it does give some nice subtle um shading in the recesses but it's not quite as dark as i wanted so i might have to do another coat of that or something else to get the blue a little bit duller same with number three so a lot of them have got this sort of mm, lightish blue tunic which just needs to be slightly duller i think but otherwise i think it's doing some quite nice subtle shading of the skin and the tunics and well everything really which makes um the whole thing a little bit simpler um all right on to a bit more detail back with that in a moment getting pretty close now this guy number one it's just about done i think i just need to put a bit of basing material on him and he will be ready for action number two also pretty close i haven't done the little um patterning on his tunic so i've got to do that microscopically small <laughs> i think i'll have space to do all the squares and the triangles and the dots but we'll see how we go and then similar with this number three um i put on the red sash i used in the end a bit of um, dental floss i just painted it red first and that worked quite well maybe a little bit thicker than in the picture but i think it uh, looks okay and i uh, also need a bit of that red patterning on the bottom of his tunic but then he'll be set for battle too so i think the next step i'll show will be fully completed versions we'll catch you in a few seconds and here we have them first batch of heroes of carthage these are actually uh the iberian contingent um and i've added some weapons just because they did look a little bit plain a little bit silly without so there's number one bring up his patriot number two the zebra skin action and then the third with the big uh, rounded cardiothorax of the more armored uh iberian guys the small shield Seatrati. so i'm pretty happy with how they've come up i'm going to do the usual some still photographs and then following that there's something a bit special today that's um some beautifully hand-drawn images uh from ancient or the ancient carthaginian empire really uh which i've purchased on etsy and i'll be running a series of them after each of these videos um in fact this being the second one you would have seen the first one already so <laughs> it's good uh but anyway there'll be a set of them with each video um so have a look at that hopefully it inspires and gives you a little bit of a sense of um, the ancient civilization see you soon